Hi, this is Miss Pam from the After School Program at Connors. Welcome back. We are doing sports this month and or next month and we're going to start with baseballs. We're going to make a baseball. First things that we need to do is get our supplies. So in your packet you will have uh, a cardstock of baseballs and you'll need a hole punch, a black marker or a black uh, colored pencil, black yarn, and some tape, and some scissors. Okay, so let's get started. What are we going to do today? Well, first thing we're going to do is we are going to cut out our baseballs. Okay, try to keep the black line going around the baseball. Try to keep that just uh, so that you have it as an outline. Um, the black dots here are where you're going to be doing the hole punching. Okay? And be careful when you do that. Try to get it right in the middle of the dot because if you don't, it'll, it, will, it may blend in um, and you won't have two holes. You'll just have one big hole. Okay? Just be careful of that. All right? I tried to do the dots the best I could. All right, let's get started. This is what we're making. So we're making a baseball and lacing it. And that's what I've done. First thing I did is on the back side, I taped down my tail. And I went up through the front. And I went up on and over. And I went across underneath. I went across here and up and down. Underneath, cross over. Okay? And I'll show you as I go along. The thing that's interesting is I found that if you took a little bit of tape and you put it on the end of your yarn, it's going to be so much easier to go down these holes because otherwise the tape frays, the yarn frays, and it goes all over the place and you've got to keep cutting it and all that. So that's a good thing to, to, to learn. So what I did is I did that side and I'm going to show you the other side. So I'm going to go across the back and up through the closest one. And I'm going to go across that lacing and I'm going to go up through this lacing which is on the same side as the one that I just went down into. Okay. And I'm going to go across and I'm going to go up through the, so the one that's on the same side as the one I'm just coming down. Okay. I'm going up into this one if I can find it. <laughs> oh, you might as well laugh at yourself sometimes. And up through that one. And across. And again, I'm going to come up on the same side as the one I just went down in. Come up and down. Now, I've got a choice to make. What do I want to do with this baseball? And there's a couple things that you can do. You can uh, clip it in the back and tape it. And if you did that, you could hang it on the refrigerator with a magnet. You could um, lay it down in your room. You might give it to somebody. You could also put it in a card. So if you have a friend that likes baseball, you could put it on the front of a card and color it up a little, and then you'd have a baseball card. Okay. Another thing you could do with this is you could take and go across the back And go down into one of these other holes. It's just going to make a, it's just going to make that one a little bit darker. But then I would tape it off. And what I could do is I could pull this up a little, and I could hang it like this. Okay. I could hang it like this. All right. Well, thank you for listening. Um, 
So we're going to have another few projects with this baseball. Um, so when you get your supply bag and your information from next month, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.